What up, what up, Winbush here. And recently in Unreal Engine 5.4, there was an update where we can now drag and drop fog locally inside of our project. If you look at the example, if you scroll this over to the right, you can see that this is what it looks like with local fog. And then if I scroll it over to the left, now you can see this is what it looks like just with your exponential height fog. So let's take a look inside of Unreal Engine and see how we can add the local fog volumes. And don't worry, I'll leave the documentation links down in the description below if you wanna go through it yourself. But to get started, I'm gonna come up here to the top left where we have quickly add the project. I'm gonna select this green plus symbol right here. And then I'm gonna come down here to visual effects. Now you should see local fog volume. So I'm gonna left click on this and you'll see this pop up inside of your viewport. Now you might not see that first because this is conducent of how far it is from your camera. So if I start moving it further away, now you can see we're starting to get a local fog volume. And I can make this a little bit larger, maybe let's say about four. And if I push this down into my terrain, so let me move it back a little bit, and I'm just gonna push it down there so we can interact with our terrain a little bit more, maybe even make it a little bit larger, like so. Now let's go through some of these attributes here to see how they connect. So right here, where it says radial fog density, and let me actually pull this details panel up so we can see it better. But if I start scrolling it down, you can see that we have less fog in here. So you can already see how we can start to art direct our fog that's inside of here. And then I'm gonna reset this back up to one, and then right here where it says fog height distribution, again, if I start moving this down, you can see that it's still really thick, but it's actually engulfing around our terrain here. So that's pretty cool. If I do fall off, you can see now we get our fall off there in which I'm gonna put this back down to zero. And then we can do a fall off offset like so. So right here where it says fog albedo, this is where we could change the color out. So let's say if you wanted to make it red, maybe you're working on something on like an alien planet or have like a swamp or something like that you would change that out there. But then you could also change out the emissive color of the fog as well. If I select this, let's say we come down here, in which this gives us a really cool atmospheric effect. So you can see how powerful it is just coming in here, playing around with the detail attributes. And for whatever reason, if you brought this into your project and you don't see it, if you come up here to edit, then come down here to project settings, you'll wanna come down to here where it has rendering on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna select rendering, and then under search, I'm gonna type in fog. So the one you really wanna make sure you have turned on is support local fog volumes. And then if you wanna have it over any type of translucency, you can also activate it right here as well. And before we go, I wanna give a big shout out to Tim Hobson. He's one of the people that actually write out the documentation. And if you follow him on Twitter, every time he does an update to the documentation, he'll often post from it. So if you wanna know the latest and greatest, I would highly suggest follow him there on Twitter or X. So this is a feature that used to be hard, bringing in local fog volumes. You had to do some blueprinting or even some crazy materials, but now you can just drag and drop it into your scene and art direct from there. So hopefully this quick tip helped you out. If you're new to the channel, once again, my name is Jonathan Wimbush. Hit that subscribe button for more tutorials like this. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.